Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another build session. Today we have something special I've been working on. You guys have seen this monster diorama that I'm working on. Last week I talked about window trims, excuse me, I just gave it away. Building trims specifically around rooftops and your building architecture type trim. Um, today we're going to be talking about trim but for windows. <laughs> So today we have these interior window trims. Um, a challenge that I've had for myself is I've had these windows for uh, you know a few years, been using them for my dioramas, but the interior just was lacking a little bit. It didn't look bad, but with this diorama I wanted to do something a little different and I wanted to complete the interior with some window trims. So with the laser, I've got these out of eighth inch wood. Uh, designed in light burn just like I did with the chipboard for the building trim and uh, I put these together um, I'm, this was my first one this was my test one after doing some measurements and it looked really good there were a few things I didn't like and I went back in the software and corrected it and now I have all the windows done so join me and I'll show you how I did that all right so we have some of these windows that I put together, um, designed in light burn, and then cut on the laser. Essentially, it's going to complete the window. So on the back side of the front side, you have your windows. I'm going to go ahead and pop each one of these in, but these are the windows. And this is just going to complete the look from the inside as well. Let's give it a much more finished look. It needs a rest in here once we get them all in. Okay. So now that we got them in, we'll start test fitting our new batch. Okay, so let's go ahead and test our new one. So I'm going to pull out one whole kit. So this is the trim. These are the insides. Alright, so these two should fit long. And they butt up to the inside lip of that window, which is real nice. And this is a snug fit, but it's meant to be friction until you can get it glued in there. And we come along with our trim. And then this kind of secures everything in place very nicely. And now it is all flush. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is super flush in there. Um, it looks Real good, looks polished, looks clean, looks complete. So with some paint, uh, that'll look really dope. So let's go ahead and zoom out here and get all four done. So you guys can see what that looks like. And there you have it guys, I don't know how tight these are in here, so when I pick it up it might move, but um, yeah, let's just slide a little bit. As you can see, it's just complete in there. It looks oh so nice. Yeah, I can't wait to get these painted up. I can't wait to get all this done. This is going to be epic. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have questions, reach out to me or leave. Just leave some uh, questions in the comments and I'll get to them. Thanks, guys. Alright, guys. One thing I want to recommend after watching this video, you guys should go get is digital calipers. 
You can get these on Amazon for about 20 bucks, and they're gonna save a lot of time and effort when it comes to measuring all things. I put together this entire design using these based off my original windows. Um, so if you don't have one of these in your collection of tools, make sure you can get one. It's gonna be very helpful. And with that guys, I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Also, a thank you to Billy Moon, Star Marvel, and B Barnes for all the support. And we'll catch you next Saturday on Diorama Talk.